We're at El Arapaso Latin Grill today in downtown Columbus. In the heart of Pearl Alley, you can find authentic Latin American food. Check out favorites like meat, fish, or vegetarian paracón with deep fried plantains. Owners Carlos and Caroline Gutierrez started in downtown and now have restaurants in the Brewery District and out in Gahanna. Thank you. All right. Oh, it looks beautiful. Wow. Yes. I'm meeting Amy Schmittauer for lunch. She's the president of the Downtown Residents Association of Columbus. You ready? Yes. Let's do this. Definitely. What's your favorite thing to eat here? They have an incredible chicken tostada. Yeah. I get it religiously when I'm here, and I eat it dangerously fast. <laughs> yeah. I only Whoa. got this location for, oh yeah. That's got kick. That's spicy. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest plus side to living downtown that you didn't even know was coming? I think it's just like, you're in the middle of everything all the time. I can like feel like I'm a part of the events downtown and not leave my house. Right, right. Like it's they're awesome. all happening in your backyard. <laughs> yeah, they're it's you. like all right here. <laughs> right, yeah. right. It's really incredible because for a long time it's sort of been this like empty nester. Everybody always thought, oh, it's just like the people that are like just chilling for the rest of their life living right, downtown. Right, right. But it's not that way anymore. There's young people moving downtown in droves. Uh -huh. And it's so great to see because now there's so many different types of neighbors meeting each other and, and, and living this life. Now what does downtown living look like in terms of like conveniences people think they would experience not living downtown, like your market, your grocery shopping, like how do you navigate that experience? It's true, there are, there's, we're not walking like two blocks over to the bodega or anything to pick something up, right. but I walked to the grocery store and walked my stuff back. It's a little bit of a hike and if it's nice out, obviously that works out great. But we do have these things happening and and i think there's this balance that we have to continue to fight with for a little bit of residents coming versus business coming and then those two things really working together so you're not really losing any conveniences you're just changing the way you access it. exactly i think that's more the situation that people are getting used to is how to live in the urban core for columbus right now it still involves cars right but right. when are we going to get to a point where it doesn't, people are going to start to go down to one car or no car lifestyle. Right, right, right. And I, I have lived car free for five years downtown, wow. so it's possible. I have certain luxuries, I'm self-employed and I don't have children and I can right, understand right. why that's not going to work for everybody, but it's possible. Now what do we have to offer that people might not even think about or even realize or know about? You know, I think we offer a lot of culture. There's so much history yeah. here, and we have yeah. incredible arts here, absolutely incredible arts, and I don't know how well known we are for that outside of our own city, but we right, right. should be. So now as the president of the Downtown Residents Association, like, what are your goals, what, what's your vision, and what do you want to accomplish? We have always been here for the simple purpose of connecting residents to their businesses, and really we're connecting residents to residents that way, because whether you live here or you host your business down here, you're all residents of downtown and we want to continue to help each other thrive. What do you think residents want for the future uh, uh, of Columbus? I think we just want to continue to see it grow. I think we've seen in the past where we thought it was really booming and then we kind of stalled a little bit, and I don't think we want to see that anymore, especially right, right. with attracting a younger demographic living downtown. We want them to have a reason to stay. Right. So I think there's still a lot that we need to continue to do, not just the catch up of residents and businesses continuing to make life better downtown, but what does life look like as you continue to grow your family and how can we keep that as a downtown lifestyle that's feasible for you? I think that's what matters for us is the future of keeping the affordable housing, keeping the different demographics and also allowing them to stay with us and not have to leave the, the urban core and right, keep right. this lifestyle, even though they might grow their family. Well, it's been wonderful talking to you and sharing this great meal at so El good. Arapaso. Man, this was a perfect you place. You should have to... got more into that spicy. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Got to crawl before you walk. <laughs> That's true. So, yeah. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you. For sure.